welcome back to mlt world channel today friend in this class we will study one of the most important topic of biochemistry and that topic is glomerular filtration rate let's start the lecture to understand the glomerular filtration rate first we have to understand the kidney because kidney filters about a ka half cup of blood every minute means this much blood it will filters our body the main purpose is to remove the waste and extra water in the form of urine or to make the urine now here in kidney we all know that the one of the most important part of kidney the structural and functional unit of kidney is the nephron there are millions of nephron present in almost 1 to 2 million nephron present in each kidney and the process of nephron is work through two steps first the glomerulus filter the blood and tubules return needed substances to the blood and remove waste through our body in the form of urine now we will focus on our main lecture that is glomerular filtration rate to understand the glomerular filtration rate first we have to understand what is the glomerulus glomerulus is the cluster of capillaries present in the c shape bowman capsule and that main purpose is of glomerulus is to filter the blood as blood flow into the each nephron it enters into the cluster of tiny blood vessels or capillaries the glomerulus we will call and the thin wall of glomerulus allows only small molecules to pass out that will be waste and fluid and mostly water to pass into the tubules and then it will make the urine so glomerulus so what is the glomerular filtration rate as i told that glomerulus is a part of nephron starting part of nephron where the blood will enters so glomerular filtration rate will estimate that how much blood pass through the glomerulus and each minute in each minute how much blood will pass through the glomerulus is the glomerular filtration rate and glomerular filtration rate is equal to the filtration rate of the functioning of nephron in the kidney and gfr is, is the short form of glomerular filtration rate and that is the best way to access or to check or to measure the kidney function and help to determine the extent or level of ckd is the chronic kidney disease so now here you will see the diagram if gfr it is e g e gfr e gfr means estimated gfr if estimated gfr is 120 to 90 means 90 to 120 it means it's normal but if it is 60 to 90 it's showing early kidney disease and then kidney disease and then kidney failure so normal gfr it varies according to age sex body in young adults and it is approximately 120 ml per minute per 1.73 m2 and decline in normal individuals with age as age will increase glomerular filtration rate will decrease now if you will see this diagram g1 it means if glomerular filtration rate is more than 90 we will consider it's normal and category is grade 1 but if grade 2 will be uh, in ckd in chronic kidney disease grade 2 is 60 to 89 if gfr result is 60 to 89 it means now it's grade 2 and mildly decreased now grade 3 it will divide into grade 3a and grade 3b grade 3a is if gfr is 45 to 59 it will be grade 3a and if it is 30 to 44 it will be grade 3b and grade 4 will be 50 to 29 and grade 5 is less than 15 so gfr is usually estimated from the person serum creatinine or uh, cystatin c level in combination with demographic factors such as age race gender using an estimation a equation so glomerular filtration rate is calculated as estimated gfr 
as uh, there is you will listen or you will read mostly there is actual gfr and estimated gfr actual gfr is a long procedure so mostly doctors and patients both avoid to check through actual uni- uh, gfr because need 24 hour urine and it's a long procedure so uh, nowadays mostly estimated gfr is used and estimated gfr is also more accurate and more important than serum creatinine because serum creatinine is affected by muscle mass and related factors age sex and race but estimated gfr is not reliable for patient uh, other factors rapid like muscle uh, consumption uh, like rapidly changing creatinine level so estimated gfr is more important or more accurate than the creatinine and one more important point creatinine and estimated gfr have inverse relationship if creatinine level will increase estimated gfr level is decrease so if patient creatinine is high and estimated gfr is low it showing the chronic kidney disease i hope you understand the concept of uh, gfr glomerular filtration rate thank you so much